Youth coaches, this message is, is clearly for all of you around the globe. You guys are the most important coaches on the face of the earth. Okay? And why do I say that? Because in most times as a youth coach, you are the very first coach that one of these young adults, young kids, you're the first coach that they see, that they experience. And what they draw from that experience, coach, whether you know it or not, is they either want to continue to play or they want to quit. So their experiences with youth coaches are very important. And again, I think the line that we have to understand as coaches is, yes, we have to be disciplinarians. We have to be uh, in, a, in a sense of a leadership role, and we're teaching. But it doesn't have to be negative. Right? It doesn't have to be yelling and screaming. It doesn't have to be cursing and demeaning the young adults. Right? Our responsibility as adults, as coaches, as youth coaches, these kids, they look up to us. Okay? They are looking for guidance. They're looking to be taught certain things. So that responsibility goes onto you as a youth coach and how you help these young, fragile minds grow in confidence. I don't think a lot of coaches understand how important the youth culture is. Again, as an NBA coach, I'm at a different level. Okay? I would say my job is not as important as yours, and I firmly believe that because, again, you're shaping the minds of young athletes and how they want to approach not only the sport, but how they're going to approach life. It's very important that we're understanding that basketball is a vehicle to teach life lessons, and any sport is. So youth coaches, you're very important. Okay, so leading into how you structure your practices and how you sometimes train youth kids that are not very good, you know, we, we always want to start with just a simple template. What are, what are the key areas of basketball for youth? One, ball handling. Teaching them how to dribble with their right hand and left hand. Two, passing. Teaching kids to understand the art of passing. Shooting. Teaching young kids how to shoot. And that doesn't mean that as young, young athletes, coaches, you let your kids come in the gym and just start launching three-pointers. Sometimes, coaches, as it, even with my guys in the NBA, we don't even shoot threes in a workout. So teach your kids form shooting. Don't let them shoot beyond five to ten feet. Make them understand what it means to be able to take five shots from ten feet and make five shots from ten feet. Okay? That element of teaching will help them later on as they continue to grow. Defense, teaching young players how to play defense from a footwork standpoint and just, again, providing the effort. Um, teaching them how to play the game from a ball movement standpoint. Right? Not just dribbling and always trying to score, but teach young players how to pass the ball and understand how to move without the basketball. Layups, right? this is very key for me. Layups are so important for youth okay? because all they really look at, they look at YouTube, Look at all these things, and the first thing they want to do is they want to learn how to break down, but they don't understand how to finish the layups. So teach the youth how to make right hand and left hand layups. These are all very, very basic, basic things, but this is what they need to learn. Okay? We can't skip details, coaches. At the young age, we need to coach, and we coach fairly. We coach fairly. If you're a parent and you're coaching your child's youth team, Fair is the key word. I understand as parents, we always want our kids to survive. We want our kids to thrive and grow. But I'm going to tell you what, you're doing your child a disservice okay, if you give them any unfair treatment, either from putting them on a pedestal or treating them any worse. If you're going to coach as a parent, be fair. Okay, I, I encourage that at all times. And then parents, as parents, as spectators, be that, okay? If you're going to allow your child to play on a youth program team and the team has a coach, you can't be the parent and the coach. Let the coach coach, okay? If you have issue with the coach, you take that up with the coach behind closed doors, not in the stands, not in the course of a youth basketball game where you're shout yelling and shouting and telling other kids to pass the ball to your son or your daughter or telling your son or your daughter to take every shot. This is part of the culture of youth basketball that has really went awry. So parents, I'm challenging you as well. You have a huge responsibility to teach your kids how to be responsible and how to be good athletes and good teammates. Okay? If you're going to be a parent, be a parent. 
Simple as that.